Well hello everybody and welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making some uh, cheesy oat cakes. So these are going to be oat cakes and I'm going to roll them quite thin but I'm going to incorporate some parmesan cheese to give them flavour. Oat cakes are usually reasonably thick and uh, basically they're just oats. Now I'm using uh, what I'm calling oatmeal which I've ground from rolled oats, but you could use a combination of the two, ground oats and uh, rolled oats. And it's quite a simple recipe, and for it I've preheated my oven uh, to 180 Celsius, that's 160 Celsius with a fan, 350 Fahrenheit, and I've lined a couple of baking trays with some parchment paper. So the ingredients are uh, 280 grams, which works out at about two and a half cups of oatmeal. And all I did was to put rolled oats into my food processor and blitz them until they turned out like this. Then I have um, 25 grams, which is about half a cup, but you could, you could vary the amount, of Parmesan cheese, which I have grated. I have 75 milliliters, which is... Uh, five tablespoons of olive oil and a good pinch of salt and I'm also going to use a little bit of hot water uh, as necessary but not too much. So what I'm going to do is simply put the cheese into the oatmeal and I'm going to mix that around to get that fairly nicely spread throughout and I'm using parmesan um, Firstly, because it won't give too much additional colour. And secondly, because um, it's not quite, it, it won't uh, be quite so greasy. Um, if you can get powdered Parmesan. I did try with powdered cheddar and the oat cakes looked very, very orange and weren't, to my mind, satisfactory. So with that in, I'm going to add the salt in as well and just stir that around. And then I'm simply going to pour in the oil and mix it. And then I'm going to add enough water uh, so that it can start to form a dough. And you can do this with your hands if you want to. And whereas with um, making pastry you have to be careful not to over mix. It doesn't really matter with this um, because there's not the gluten in oats that you would have in the, the wheat flour when you're making pastry. So with that fairly nicely combined, I'm actually going to add in some hot water. And I'm going to do it about a tablespoon at a time. And because the water is very hot, I'm not going to put my hand in there at the moment. And about another tablespoon. And I think that's probably going to be ample. Now, if you add too much water and it becomes 
very very sticky you simply add more oatmeal and that will sort out the issue so I'm going to have a feel of that now and that's not looking too bad I'm just going to put just a little drop more I'm going to put that into the bottom where the dry oats are maybe a teaspoon And that's going to be good enough, I can see that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cover this and leave it just for 10 minutes. And that's to really let that moisture absorb into the oats. And by that time my oven will have preheated and we can roll these out. So I'll be back in 10 minutes when this has uh, rested and allowed the, the moisture to be absorbed. So what I've done is I've put some additional um, oatmeal onto my work surface and I'm going to take the um, oatmeal dough and I want to roll it out as thin as I can. I've got some markers here which are about three millimeters, an eighth of an inch. And I think that if I can get that thin, that would be good. Don't worry about anything cracking. You can push it all back together. And with that rolled out fairly thin, I'm simply going to cut out some circles And these are about three inches. And you can re-roll this, you know, uh, any that you have left, that's fine. And then transfer them to a baking tray. So I've got 17 rolled out and I re-rolled the, the dough um, to make that 17 and I'm going to put those into the oven and I'm going to bake them for 20 minutes. Then I'll take them out, let them cool down and I'll come back and show you the results. I baked the um, cheesy oat cakes for 20 minutes and I took them out and put them onto a wire rack and I've let them cool down. So this is what they look like. They baked quite well. Um, and I'll have a taste of one. I have a lovely texture and I just get the subtle cheesy flavour. Oat cakes can be a little bit bland if because usually there's no flavoring in them but with this uh, parmesan inside they have that um, subtle cheesy flavor as well very very good and sort of ideal with cheese basically as as crackers so i hope um, you've enjoyed the video and if you have please give me the thumbs up and click to subscribe to my youtube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on which will take you to this recipe and I'll put a link for it below the video as well. And then I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking.